Hello everyone, and welcome to another DLS in Productions video. My name is Senior Fushigi, and it's that time of the month again, boys. But this time, boys, I have come prepared. I have not spoiled myself. I've made sure not to look at the screen even when clicking on the video, my boys. My boys, I don't know how it's possible to do that, but I somehow managed to do that. Um, I almost spoiled myself. Oh my goodness, my my boys, let's just let's just start the video because my eyes just want to look at the thumbnail or not the thumbnail the uh, the title a again. Let's okay, boys. Legendary hero. Hey, it's that time of the month again, boys. Let's see who it is. It's gonna be a green hero. Am I right or am I right? Who is it gonna be? Oh my God, Hector. Sitting on some throne isn't really my style. Yeah. Oh my God, he's the Fawada Sachiko. Dude, he looks amazing. Whoa. He looks amazing. Yeah. Wada Sachiko back at it again with that amazing art. Another the Hector. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. That you can make Hector emblem now. Hector, green, a man. He's green. I'll take. I don't care. Hector's awesome. Um, boys. Okay. Oh no! Elise. Not like this, boys. Oh. Boys. Ah. The two units that I've been missing are finally on a banner. <laughs> Elise is finally gonna come home, <sighs> and so is Mur. My boys, you already know I'm gonna make a summoning video. Hector, though, um. Oh, it's, it's finally Mur is on a banner, so is Elise. Sadly, Winter Lissa is not on the same banner. Now, that is a really big pet peeve. I'm not gonna lie, that irritates me a lot. Um, they switched them out for Brave Ike. Again, Ike is my boy. I love my boy Ike. I don't wanna see him. I don't want, I don't, I don't want him to be on this banner. Why is he on this banner? Winter Lissa was the one I was hoping for. I should have known they were gonna do this. This is scummy because they know they're gonna split the. Uh, they can make money with these winter uh, units, um, the most popular ones, obviously being Tharja and Winter Lissa. Uh, so they're gonna split those into two separate banners. I think that's scummy, but fine. Whatever you do, you uh, intelligent systems, my boys. What do you guys think about this Hector dude? He looks awesome. He's got like. An updated uh, little chibi figure he's like blue armor on him now like his original in-game art dude he looks awesome Patrick Seitz my boy aka Dio um, not my Dio though I don't, I don't want I don't uh, I don't listen to English dub but that is what a Sachiko's art he looks great our mods back at it again with our mods Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. Um, <sighs> Thunder Armods. Another variant to Armods. Okay. Is this going to be our first broken legendary hero? Because all of the legendary heroes so far, he's got this encounter, so he's already broken. <sighs> and Vengeful Fighter, my boys, built in. All the legendary heroes so far have not been broken. They've been meh. But this one, Hector, was the very first broken unit in the game. Period. He might be the first broken legendary hero unit in the game. Thunder Armod, 16 might grants defense plus 3. For an armor unit, that's, that's decent. If the number of allies within two spaces, excluding unit, is greater than the number of foes within two spaces, excluding target, uh, kind of like Ephraim's uh, weapon passive, foe cannot make a follow-up attack. So it's the opposite of Ephraim's. It's the counter. Uh, Ephraim's able to make a, uh, a follow-up attack if there's uh more enemies that reminds me of mer's weapon except a little less good because mer doesn't have that uh that threshold you know you have they they have to have more units on their side or within range of their target uh, so uh but that's that's decent that's decent draconic aura uh that's normal distant counter broken vengeful fighter three broken uh osteous pulse at the start of turn one 
grants special cooldown count minus one to all allies. It's those uh, def it's those skills that the legendary heroes have, except this one is um it's for special cooldown. We'll have to wait for stats, my boys, because that will determine whether he's really broken or not. Am I wrong, or is does is that a new sprite for his armor? Because I don't remember. He looks bulkier. That's kind of a weak uh, legendary animation. Uh, Elise, boy. Elise. <laughs> My boys. And, of course, Mur, the best dragon in the game. Uh, minus uh, Kana, because obviously Kana is number one in my heart. She will always be forever one. But Mur, Mur is a close second. Bro. Boys. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I hope I don't get the legendary hero this time. Uh, I hope I get Mur. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. No Celica, Fallen Celica. Was she on the last one? Yes. This time it's Leaf. This looks pretty solid. I could use a Grima as well. A Grima would be nice. Who was the other gray? Oh, Roy. Ugh. Um, I don't know about that. I mean, I could use Brave Ike, but Roy. Uh, I don't know about that, boys. Um, I have to go for a lease, though. I have to. So hopefully I can get a lease. Hopefully I can get Mur. Expect a summon video, boys. That Mur, I gotta get Mur, dude. She will finally complete my dragon emblem to you. Uh, are you gonna be summoning on this banner, or are you gonna go summon some more on the summer banner? Because if hey, if I did not get all those units, uh, I would be summoning still on those uh, for those units. But uh, I think I'm good with my perfect IV Tana. Feels good, man. And uh, my Noir and my uh, Cordelia, which I don't really care about the stats, the IVs too much on those characters. I just really wanted good IVs on Tana. Um, or are you going to be waiting for a Summer Banner Part 2? Or are you going to be summoning for the Summer Banner Rerun? Um, let me know what you guys are planning on doing. <sighs> you already know what I'm going to do. So subscribe if you want to see that. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Comment again. Let me know what you guys think. Honestly, green is solid. If you don't have Bike, Mur, or Hector, obviously new legendary hero, it would have been absolutely amazing if Winter Lissa was on it, like I predicted. But nope, I did predict Mur, and I did predict uh, Elise. I didn't think Elise would happen though. So uh, that's kind of a uh, that 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 kind of threw a wrench in my plans because now I'm going to be summoning on two colors. But uh, blue, let's see, blue's got Fima Morgan, Ephraim, and uh, Lynn. That's that's decent. That's decent. Uh, you can't go bad with that color. Ephraim's pretty solid. One on uh, one on two or one on three. Uh, Fima Morgan stats. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're not crazy. If you're looking for a blue flyer, uh, a good blue flyer, you're better off summoning for Summer Corrin right now, who's uh, uh, on the rerun banner for the Summer banner. Uh, Winter Tharja is absolutely amazing. Um, Ike, you can't go wrong with another Radiant Dawn Ike. And Leaf, uh, underrated in my opinion. Underrated, but not amazing either. Um, yes, I think green is the most solid pick for your choice. Oh, and Gray's. Roy is the landmine. You want to be avoiding him at all costs. In my opinion, I mean, he's an archer. He doesn't really bring anything to the table. Not that I can remember. Elise is godlike, though. Uh, she's one of the better units. And Grima is Grima. Uh, she's a dragon unit. She's a meh dragon unit, in my opinion, but she's a dragon unit. So, yes, greens is the best color, in my opinion. So, with that being said, have a nice day. This has been a DLSN Productions video. Um, I've been your host, Sinu Fushigi. Thank you for watching. <sighs> I'm not ready for this, boys. I only got 57 orbs. Uh, I don't think I can pull two characters with that many.